Okay, so before we begin how to make ganache, um, what we have here is some Elm Lee uh, double cream. And Elm Lee is a cream substitute, and it's actually made from vegetable, um, so it's a vegetable cream rather than a dairy cream. Okay, but it works the exact same way. Uh, so I'm filming this in Spain, and uh, quite often you look, they'll use vegetable or UHT style of cream rather than the fresh cream. So I prefer to use the Elm Lee uh, double cream, but it's the exact same ratio as a uh, fresh uh, double cream um, for this. So, uh, so what I want to do is I'm going to use a glass bowl. Normally I would use a plastic one so I can uh, easily clean and etc. But anyway, so we want to put the two cartons of cream in here. So we're looking for a pint, just a half pint. So we're looking for a pint of cream um, to two pounds of chocolate. Okay, so it's, it's two, a two to one ratio that I use in pounds and pints. Okay, so there we are. So that's the whole pint of cream and then two pounds of chocolate. So just make sure you get all that cream out there. Now, the first time I used Elm Lee, what was actually in Scotland, and David had thought he'd just bought normal cream and he'd bought the Elm Lee and had a panic attack because the shops had closed and it was, um, uh, and the, the class was the next day and I had to make ganache. So I phoned them up to the helpline and they just said treat it the exact same way as cream and it works. So I, either cream or the Elm Lee stuff is, works fine. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got the chocolate. Um, so it's dark chocolate and it's the Belcalade chocolate that I use. Um, I'll put a link on there for the, the chocolate where I get the chocolate from. But you don't have to use the, the expensive stuff. Uh, you can use Aldi or Little Chocolate, as long as it's got um, a high cocoa content. So this is 55% um, cocoa uh, for the dark chocolate on this one. Okay, so what we want to do, I'm just going to pop that over there is we want to pop this in the microwave, usually for about sort of 10 minutes, okay? Every microwave is different, so that's a 900 watt for 10 minutes until it starts to boil, okay? Now, a lot of ganaches, they say don't boil it, but when we're making ganache for a cake, then it's fine to bring it to the boil. So bring it to the boil in the microwave, and then we're going to pour the, the chocolate in. Um, now, one thing to remember is um, you, if you don't have a microwave, just boil it on the pan, okay? So just bring it to the boil on the pan, and then you can then pour it over the chocolate. Okay, so I'm going to take this to the microwave, I'm going to put it in for 10 minutes or until it comes to the boil, and then when I come back, we're going to slowly add the chocolate, stirring it in, and make the ganache.